First alert weather with meteorologist Gib Brown. Now, Gib, I was actually out on the lake during the marathon watching it, and yeah. I believe while I was out there, it was canceled. I didn't even, I didn't even know. Yeah. But when I got back to land, this is what I heard, and I, yeah. I was Safety is an utmost concern, especially in a thing like a marathon, yeah. and it was extremely warm out there. What they do is they use what's called a wet bulb global temperature. And if you can go to my first graphic, uh, you'll see exactly what this is all about. Now, you all know what the heat, weight, heat index is like when you measure the temperature and the humidity, and you can get a combination of comfort. Well, this also is directly, uh, it's measured directly in the sun. It also factors in things like wind and relative humidity, cloud cover, and solar angles. And when the value of these all together reaches 82 degrees, the race is canceled, again, for the runner's safety. Not that all people couldn't make it, but again, in interest of safety, uh, the, the race was canceled at, uh, just before, before midday today, as a matter of yeah. fact. So overall, that's the, that's the name of the game there in terms of marathon safety, the wet bulb global temperature. Okay, our temperature right now has fallen quite a bit. We were at 88 degrees a little while ago, several hours ago, 72 with a thunderstorm in progress in Burlington, dew point way up there at 68 degrees. There's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. Now temperature is where we've had a lot of rain falling into the 60s and lower 70s. Areas where we've not had so much of that activity, temperatures in the 80s across the Seaway Valley. Here's what's going on. We've got some satellite radar, thunderstorms churning to the northeast, moving at about 30 miles per hour. But as you can see, the coloration here has changed, especially in the last hour or so. So we don't see the bright reds and the bright oranges. We're seeing a lot of green. Unfortunately, this green continues to fall over the northern portions of Franklin and uh, Clinton counties across northern New York. And this is where our flood uh, flash flood warning is still in effect. So we're going to keep an eye on this area, but overall things are diminishing in strength as we go through the next few hours that will that will continue as we lose the solar heating. Big picture, a lot of moisture coming up still. We will continue to see showers and thunderstorms tonight. Here's what's going on. We've got warm air to our north. We've got Bonnie to our south. This frontal system comes through, triggers more showers and thunderstorms into tomorrow, and then another shot of cooler air. So as we get you toward the middle of the week, temperatures significantly cooler and more importantly, drier than what we're seeing right now. So on Futurecast, Tonight, you'll see those showers, some thunderstorms, some with heavy, heavy rain. And then by tomorrow, things are going to be dry in the Champlain Valley, just cloudy skies. Over the southern portions of the region, we're going to see the effects of Bonnie, the tropical storm that went into the Carolinas. It's going to lose strength, but we've got a lot of moisture with it. That's going to be moving to the north and east and affecting the southern four counties, Vermont, into the upper valley. This thing will continue to move toward the north and east. Behind that, as we get you into the evening hours, some spotty showers, especially north. Overall, though, things quieting down quite a bit. We get you to Tuesday. Morning temperatures are going to be on the cool side compared to what we've seen today as we take you through Tuesday into Wednesday. Things much drier and a whole lot more sunny. Here's what's going on for tonight. We're going to see temperatures that are going to be falling back to around 66 degrees. Showers, thunderstorms, some with heavy rain, so keep that in mind. Tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures a little bit cooler, 84 for a high in Burlington. Some showers and thunderstorms for at least most of us, especially during the afternoon hours, time of maximum heating. Now, on Tuesday, a drier day, 81 degrees, a beautiful day Wednesday, 78, 81 Thursday. Chance for some showers coming back into the forecast on Friday. Next weekend starts off great, 76 degrees, partly sunny skies. A chance for a few showers Sunday, a high then of 77.